Welcome to EPC Land's Two Minute Fundamental Series. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's begin. Today, we're talking about the number one rule in pump piping. Get it wrong and things go bad fast. It's a really simple mistake, actually, but it can absolutely wreck this industrial workhorse. Meet the hero of the plant. This pump is the heart, keeping everything flowing. But its survival? That all comes down to one golden rule. So what is it? It's simple, really. The suction line has to be as short and straight as possible. Follow this rule and you're on one of two paths. One good, one not so good. So let's talk about the bad path first, the one that leads to a damaged pump. Bad piping? It's usually long and complicated with high points that trap vapor pockets. Yeah, these high points are like traps. Gas bubbles just get stuck and can't move. And this leads to the pump's biggest enemy, a really destructive force born from those bubbles. The villain's name is cavitation. It's a total pump killer. And it's caused by boiling liquid? Okay, so how does the liquid boil inside a pump? It's not about heat, it's about pressure. Engineers call it NPSH. Think of it as a safety margin. If it gets too low, the liquid boils. And that flash to vapor is cavitation. It literally eats the pump from the inside out. All right, enough doom and gloom. Let's look at the smart way, the hero's path. The good path is short, straight, no high points. This keeps the flow smooth and steady. But wait, what if you have to connect two different pipe sizes? Won't that make a high point? Well, engineers have a smart trick for this. It's called an eccentric reducer. Installation is everything. You see, you have to install it with the flat side on top. No more vapor pockets. And just like that, a simple design choice beats the villain. That's smart engineering for you. So why does this matter so much? Well, it hits all of the big ones. Safety, reliability, and cost. Get the piping right, and you get a safer, more reliable plant. No nasty surprises. And yeah, it's about the money too. Less pipe, less energy, and way less maintenance. The takeaway is pretty clear, right? The shortest, straightest path is always the best path. It makes you wonder, what if the simplest path isn't just easier? It's the only one that works. Hope you like the content, and don't forget to check out 2,000 Plex videos on EPC Land's YouTube channel. Happy learning!